Double click on the software icon to open the NTA home screen. The software will automatically detect any hardware that is connected to the instrument and the connection status will be shown at the bottom left. Navigate to the hardware tab at the bottom of the main screen. Select the pump stage tab and click on prime fluidics. The image shows how the tubing should be connected prior to clicking OK. Prime Fluidics is used to fill the tubing at a slow speed to ensure that pressure buildup inside the gasket is kept to a minimum. Once the fluidics have been primed, faster pump sequences such as flush and load can be used without causing damage to the delicate gasket. Once the Prime Fluidics operation has finished, click on Flush to ensure that all tubing is filled and that no leaking occurs around the gasket and top plate on the laser module. Click on Start Camera to initialise the camera and set the camera level to maximum to obtain an image. Next, click on Scatter under Pumps and Stage in the Hardware tab at the bottom of the screen. This will take the stage to the optimum region for viewing particles and recording videos. At this point, check the cleanliness of the water that is being used for flushing. There should be less than 5 particles in the frame. Load the sample vial containing pre-diluted sample into the sample holder on the NS500. Then click on Load to load the sample into the sample chamber. Once the sample is loaded, the camera level should be adjusted until all particles present in the sample can be clearly seen but no more than 20% are saturated. The easiest way to select the right camera level is to turn the camera level up and then slowly turn it back down until the dimmest particles are lost. Then go back up one camera level to see all particles. Adjust the focus from within the hardware tab at the bottom of the screen. Use the plus or minus buttons and the mouse wheel for a fine focus adjustment or the slider bar can be used for a coarse focus adjustment. At this point Further adjustments to the camera level can be made to ensure that the best image is obtained. Once happy with the image, to run a standard measurement, navigate to the SOP tab at the bottom of the screen and then select Standard Measurement from the drop-down menu. If changes to the default number and length of video captures is required, the values can be adjusted here. To adjust the solvent viscosity or to add a dilution factor, select Advanced and enter the required values. Choose a name and location for the captured video files. When ready, click Create and Run Script. Add some sample details if required and then click OK. The software will prompt for final image adjustments to be made. When finished, click OK and the software will begin recording the videos. The sample is automatically advanced during the script. Once capture is complete, the software will prompt for process settings. The detection threshold determines the minimum brightness of pixels to be considered for tracking. The lower the setting, the more particle centers will be found. But if this setting is too low, noise could be tracked. If the setting is too high, particles will be excluded from tracking. To set the threshold, click on the plus or minus buttons until each particle has a red cross in the centre. Try to keep blue crosses to a minimum as these signify noise. Click OK to begin processing. Once processing is complete, select any required files and then click Export. For alternative graph options, right click on the centre of the graph and select the desired option. When finished with the previous sample, remove the tubing from the sample vial and insert it into the waste port. 
Then navigate to the Hardware tab and select Flush to remove the sample from the tubing. When the flush has finished, click on Start Camera to check that the sample chamber is clean. If there are no particles present, the system is now ready to load a new sample. When finished working with the system, select Empty Fluidics from the Hardware tab, disconnect the tubing as shown, and then click Confirm to remove all liquid from the tubing before shutting down the instrument.